What's up, potty people, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm probably going to be very loud and annoying and just super obnoxious because I am drunk on some bang energy drink right now. Not actually drunk. It's just an energy drink. Call me tits. But yeah, I'm high on that stuff right now. I've got a lot of energy and I'm, I'm home alone. So it's time to get loud and just have a party for one. So today we're gonna be testing a potential dupe for the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette. So this is $65, I've had this for quite a while, and this is actually one of my favorite palettes, and I feel like it's so, like, just original, and just, like, there's just not many palettes out there on the market that have this kind of color story, and this is my kind of palette, like the mauves, and pinks, and berries, purples. So, Alter Ego just came out with a brand new palette called the Daydream Palette, so this is $16. I feel like Alter Ego is the new up and coming dupe brand to beat. I actually have a coupon code with them for 10% off. It's Glamour Index in all caps. All my coupon codes and affiliate links are always in my description boxes. This is a non-commission code. It's just a discount code for you guys. So you're welcome. I actually haven't used the Daydream palette yet, but as you can see, they look identical and even the size of them i'm gonna put them side by side they are the exact same size and usually like cheaper palettes like duke palettes they tend to be a little bit smaller just lighter weights they just, they feel kind of cheap but like if i were to close my eyes i can't tell which one's huda and which one's alter ego because they feel the exact same like the, the packaging on this is so heavy and sturdy and just very very high quality it does not feel like a traditional 16 dollars palette so i feel like they have really hit the mark on that and even the packaging like it just looks so nice like honestly i don't really know which packaging i like better i almost feel like i like the daydream palette packaging better but before we get started if you are new here hello and welcome to my channel my name is ashley and i post videos twice a week most weeks and we talk about everything from makeup to skincare to hair care all things beauty all in place so make sure you go ahead and stick around and subscribe to my channel and turn your notification bell on so that you never miss an upload and while we're talking about it since it's fresh on your mind go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you like dupe videos and you want to see more like it i know you haven't watched it yet but you're gonna enjoy it as i've said it's so important to interact with every video that you watch on youtube because a simple like tells youtube that that channel deserves to grow and it helps circulate my videos and it also tells me that you want to see more videos like that one so it's very helpful so if you do decide to like it thank you so much i really appreciate you not being stingy with your likes and without further ado, let's go ahead and put both of these palettes on my eyeballs. Oh, I'm sweating so profusely. So I did go ahead and prom with the Makeup Revolution Prom and Lock Eyeshadow Primer, but then I realized that there are actually concealers in these palettes, so why not try them out? I actually haven't tried the one in the Huda palette. I'm going to put the Huda palette on this side and the Daydream palette on this side. So here's what the concealer looks like. I'm trying to think of a way... Whoa. There's a lot of fallout on that. Okay, so that's the, the bad part about having like a cream and a powder palette because fallout will get all over that cream. I've gone ahead and wiped off the surface, like the powder residue and stuff on the concealer in the Huda palette. So here's what it looks like in the Huda palette. So it's kind of like, I don't know, more of just like a neutral ivory kind of color. But in the Daydream palette, it looks more of like a yellowish concealer. So kind of like the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC in the shade Soft Ochre, I guess. They definitely don't have a lot of coverage, but there is a tonal difference. So here's a Huda palette. Here is the Daydream palette. So yeah, the Daydream palette is definitely more of like a yellowish kind of ivory shade. So let's go ahead and lay down the Huda concealer on this side. And we'll just keep the primer down because, I mean, the concealers may crease. I don't really know. I just I want to make sure that they lock into place really well. Pretty decent coverage. Not like a full coverage concealer. I wouldn't want to use this on my face. It would probably be a little bit too emollient for that, but I mean, it did cancel out all the discoloration and kind of allows me to start with a, a brighter base. So now let's go into the concealer from the Daydream palette on this side. And typically I like a more yellow concealer. I don't really like pink, but I will say sometimes pink concealers or like anything that's got like a pinky white undertone tends to be a little bit brighter. But I mean, as far as like matching to my skin tone, I personally like yellow better but they feel the exact same so far. I actually do feel like the Daydream palette's a little less emollient, just kind of drying down a little bit better and a little bit differently than the Huda side. But as you can see, this side does look a little bit broader, so that's just, that's just because of the tone. So I'm gonna go ahead and set those in place with an ivory color matte shade in here. So I'm gonna go into Bear in the Huda palette, which is this one right here, and then the dupe for that one is Glow in the Daydream palette. I'm just gonna set from my crease up to my brow bone. This is something I've been doing lately, just so I can kind of maintain the intensity of a shimmer on the eyelid. So yeah, there's that shade. I'm gonna wipe off the excess. I'm just gonna be using the same brushes for each shadow, just so you know. I don't want to mess up the results. So I'm gonna take 
the shade in the Daydream palette and do the exact same thing. So I'm gonna go into the shade Secret right here in the Huda palette. This is just a matte mauve pink. It's a really good transition shade. And the one that's gonna be duping it in the Daydream palette is this one right here called Sunkiss. They look a little bit different in the pans, but whenever I swatched them, I, that's how I figured out that they were trying to be dupes because the arrangement is different in the Daydream palette. Okay, so the Huda shadow was definitely more sheer starting out and it definitely is lighter than the Daydream side. So they're not exact dupes. It's the same undertone, same kind of color, but this one's just a little bit more pigmented right off the bat. So I recommend if you want the same kind of effect as the Huda one, just tap off a lot of the excess and don't pick up too much on your brush. But as far as the consistency goes, the Huda one already I can tell that it's a lot more dry in formula. And I just feel like the Daydream palette's a lot more pigmented and buttery and smooth. So let's see, this one is the Huda shadow and that's the Daydream shadow. Yeah, they look the exact same on here, but they just, they translate a little bit different on the eyes. Recharge! So I will say whenever it comes to finding which ones are duping each other in the Daydream palette, they just look so much more different. Okay, so I'm gonna go into T's in the Huda palette and this is like a matte, muted, lavendery purple. It's dusk in the Daydream palette, which is this one right there. That's the one that's trying to dupe what is it called? Tees. Those look a lot more similar, but still a little bit different. And I think it's a difference in texture and like how they're pressed. I will say even though the Huda shadows are a little bit more dry, it's still very pigmented. Like I feel like even though it's dry, it still performs really well on the eyes as far as blending out. I have no issues with blending. I actually really like the Huda palette formulation. I know a lot of people are kind of like, eh, they're hit and miss, but I really enjoyed them. Okay, so there are those two shades. And again, I do see a slight difference once it's actually on the eyes. I feel like just more pigment is translated onto the Daydream side. So they're just more pigmented overall. So it looks a little bit different, but I feel like these shadows on the, the, the Daydream shadows are just so much more rich. So I'm gonna go into Love Bite in the Huda palette. So it's like a matte. I, I love the assortment of mattes in here. Like they're just so pretty and I feel like the matte shimmer to glitter ratio is just so good and you have so much variety and there's just so much you can do with this palette. So yeah, this is like just a basic purple. It has a little bit of like a, a pinky raspberry fuchsia undertone to it. So I think the one that it's trying to dupe in the Daydream palette is this one called Sugar Plum. So it's right here. Um, there's definitely a little bit of an undertone difference. I feel like the one in the Daydream palette is a bit more of like a, a deep, grapey purple, almost like a plum. And in case you're wondering what I'm using to clean off my brush, this is a Beauty Concepts Blank Slate Brush Color Swap Pad. So this is just like the Veramona. Is that what it's called? The Veramona Pad that you can get at Sephora. I found this at TJ Maxx for a few dollars. I think you can also find it on Amazon. I'm sure there's tons of things like this on Amazon. But yeah, that's what I'm using to clean off the pigment for my brush. Yeah, I'm gonna be very, very, very delicate with how much product I get on my brush and try to keep it a little bit more light handed with the daydream side. Okay, so I gotta say, even though they look pretty different whenever they're swatched, they actually look pretty dang similar on the eyes. And like I said, I did go more light handed with the daydream palette. Now let's go into a shimmer or glitter. And I actually haven't used any of the glitters in the Huda palette, but yeah, there are like two glitters in here. I'm not really a big glitter person, but there are these like baked shimmers. Like they're almost like metallic finishes. They're so beautiful and they're so intense. Yeah, I may go ahead and lay down one of the shimmer ones and then put the glitter on top and let the shimmer act kind of like a base. So let's go into Daydream. Okay, Daydream in the Huda palette, which is this one right here. So it looks like a pinky taupey silver. So Fairy Tale in the Daydream palette is the one well, I should probably put my finger back. This one right here is the one that's trying to dupe that. Oh my God, so buttery. Okay, so as far as the tonal similarities, these are almost identical. I will say I feel like the Daydream one is just a bit more of like a purple, almost like it's more icy and taupey. And the one in the Huda palette is just a little bit more pink. But pigment, the way they look, I feel like they're gonna be the exact same on the eyes, maybe a little bit different, but I just feel like the Daydream one is just so much more rich and buttery. Like that is literally the the best feeling shadow that I've ever felt. I am so excited. If you've watched me for a while, you'll know that I don't get excited very easily anymore because I feel like nothing is super unique. But I just feel like they're doing something. Like Alter Ego is doing something with this palette. And also I forgot to mention, <laughs> this is not sponsored or affiliated or whatever. I guess it kind of is affiliated with Alter Ego because they did send me this palette in PR, but I'm not paid or anything. And the coupon code that I have is not a commission code. It's just a discount code for you guys. I'm just gonna use my finger for this. And honestly, this may be so pretty that I don't even want to put a glitter on top. 
Wow, that is so pretty. And I've used that shadow before, but I don't think I've actually used the purples in the Huda Palette a whole lot, like the more deep plummy purples. That is so pretty, like that pairing. Woo! Okay, so going into Fairy Tale and the Daydream Palette, and the same thing. I actually use a different finger though. <gasps> Magical. Both are beautiful. Love the tones. This is literally my favorite kind of shade. It, oh, it's just so pretty. But this one just feels like more like a cream, whereas this one on the Huda side just feels more of like a dry, a dry, a dry powder. Um, still beautiful. I mean, absolutely stunning. But yeah, the Daydream one just kind of goes on more of like almost like a cream eyeshadow because it's just so creamy in texture. Oh, do I want to cover that up? Not really. That glitter is going to completely change the look of the whole eye. <sighs> what I think I'm gonna do instead is actually go in with another shimmer, like another metallic, and just kind of put that towards the outer portion of the eyelid just to use another shade and just to have some more definition and kind of like a fade shade. So I'm gonna go into Kinky in the Huda palette, which looks just like your standard shimmery kind of maroon shade. And it looks like Twilight in the Daydream palette is trying to do that one. And this one, this one looks like it would probably be pretty exact. So in this case, Kinky in the Huda palette actually feels a little bit more rich and buttery and smooth than the one in the Daydream palette. They look the exact same, like they're the exact same kind of shade. They just, they just feel a bit different. So I'm not gonna wet that or anything. I'm just gonna take that on a round bullet brush and just kind of stamp this right between where the shimmer and that matte plum meet. So just kind of add a, a different kind of tone in here and just kind of fade them together a little bit more. Okay, so I haven't touched up or anything. I do want to go in with each of the plum shades and just kind of feather it back into that shimmer just to add the intensity back in. But with application, the Daydream one actually applied better. Like I felt like I had to go back in several times and build up this shade right here to actually show up. It was kind of powdering a little bit dry, even though it swatches to be like, it swatches really creamy and pigmented and smooth, but it just performed a little bit more dry on the eyes. Whereas this one just, I don't know, it melded into that taupey, icy shimmer shade a lot better and just applied a lot easier and faster. And then for the brow bone, I'm gonna go back into the shades that we used to set the eye primer. And I'm just gonna pop that on to brighten and clean everything up. Okay, so here are the eyeshadows, and I gotta say, I am thoroughly impressed with the Daydream side. The only thing that I really liked better about the Huda palette is the brow bone shade, that like ivory, matte ivory kind of shade that I use to set my concealer and use my brow bone highlight. Not enough to rationalize the price difference. I mean, this one did the exact same thing. Which one is it? The, the glow shade. It did the exact same thing. It's just, I feel like this one was just a bit broader. But yeah, I'm gonna go off camera and finish up the rest of my eyes and my face as well. I'm actually gonna do a skin prep routine today. So I'm gonna go do that. Alrighty guys, so I'm back with the full face of makeup on and my eyes are completely done and everything that I'm wearing will be listed in the description box below. So I'm definitely deeming this a dupe. It's not an exact dupe, but it's very, very close. And even though there are some differences in the formula and the pigmentation, intensity, all that, I feel like they're actually positive differences in my opinion anyway. And I think a lot of it will depend on what you look for in an eyeshadow. If you like a more sheer, just kind of wash of color or something that like, if you don't really like a lot of pigment and intensity, then the Huda palette would probably be the best bet for you. But I just feel like the Daydream palette just captures everything that the Huda palette is and it improves it. And I actually think that this side, the Daydream side, looks a little bit cleaner. Like it, it, like I said, it just looks a little bit more rich and luxurious. And this side actually looks like the dupe side in my opinion. So yeah, another successful dupe video. So let me know in the comments below what dupes you want me to test in the future. So yeah, if you made it this far into the video, let's do a little hashtag. Let's do hashtag dupe dud or better in the comments below with like a suggestion for another another video idea for another dupe to test out just leave me something with your comment of hashtag dupe dud or better so yeah thank you guys so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next one Mwah.